Where have you been? We've been worried sick. The village. I don't, I don't think I would have got out there alive if it wasn't for Chaz. Look, I warned you what it would be like. Yeah, well, you were right. Everybody hates me down there. I don't think I'm going to be able to live with this. Look, don't let them get to you. We can ride it out. I don't know if I can. And the awful thing is, if I was in their shoes, I'd probably feel exactly the same. Three people are dead because of me, and nothing that I say, nothing I do, will ever change that. Oh, you touch me. I just want to be there for you, Chrissy. If you think you can use this to worm your way back into my bed, you are mistaken. None of this would have happened if it wasn't for you. Their blood is on your hands as much as it's on mine. I don't even know why you're still here. If you had one shred of decency, you would just stay out of my life. You heard her. It's finally seen through you. When you pack your bags and go. No, I'm not going anywhere. Whatever she says, she still needs me. You saw what happened today, so I'm going to get worse as word spreads. Be careful answering that. You might find a lynch mob waiting. Well, then I'll call the police. I'm not going to live in fear. I wish to speak with your daughter. I'm sorry about what happened. But Chrissy can't change anything now. She's already been threatened down in the village today. How do I know that's not what you've come for? I'm an old man who's lost his wife. I don't think that's much of a threat, do you? Your daughter has already admitted that she was at fault. The very least she can do is discuss it with me. That's what I'm here for. Um, look, Chrissy, I, I think it's better if you leave this to us, huh? There are some things you can't protect me from, Dad. Say what you came to say, Eric. Mr. Pollard, I'm not your friend. After what you've done, seeing you in the village on a daily basis would be intolerable. So, I'm begging you. Do the decent thing. Leave us to find our own way through this. Agreed. What? I saw how people reacted to me today. I will be out of your lives very soon, I promise. Thank you. And if you could vacate yourself from the B&B as soon as possible, I'd be very grateful. And as for you, if you won't leave, I will. Where would you go? I'm going to stay with Rebecca. For how long? I don't know. I've got a lot of things to come to terms with, and um, I've got a lot of decisions to make. So... But you will be coming back. I'm not making any promises at this stage. 